Hey YouTube, Romanoki here today. Guys, this is another motorcycle video. You can see him in the back. Take it on a long trip, guys. I don't know how many of y'all ride bikes, but that wind can get pretty exhausting. Now, I do enjoy driving around town, the wind in my hair, what little bit is left. But I did go to a swap meet yesterday and I found this. So, I'm either going to do some ride control or I'm going to put it on my bike. The problem is, they didn't know what it was off of. I picked the closest one that looked like it would fit. The other ones were smaller. And this one is just a little bit too small of a radius here. So, what I'm going to do is I took my little scoring tool. I don't know if you can see this line. But I've scored about maybe three sixteenths all the way around it. I think that'll give me clearance. And I'm gonna take my tiger disc with my angle grinder and I'm gonna try to sand this out smooth. Try, I don't know if it's gonna work. Uh, I hope it does because I wanna put this on the bike. Anyway guys, let's walk through this process together and see how it works. All right guys, so what I've got is my handy dandy Newly purchased from Harbor Freight, who I'm not being sponsored by because I've only got 213 subscribers. Anyway, we've got a 60 grid on here. You can see the window. I'm slowly going to start in an inconspicuous area and work my way around. And guys, I don't want to ruin this, but it cost me $10 is what I gave for this. It was a pretty good deal, so if I can make it work, it's gonna work. I know my brackets that are on it, they look like they'll fit up once I can get it to fit on there, but let's uh, let's do this. And guys, I cannot stress this enough. Safety, safety, safety. Do not do anything that you see me doing in this because I am not a professional. I'm just some fool from Oklahoma with a power tool. Gloves, safety glasses, let's do this. All right guys, so I've got it to my initial line. Uh, I in no way whatsoever did any measuring or math on that. I kind of eyeballed it last night and just gave myself about 3 16 all the way around. And uh, it'll either work or it won't, but I think it'll get us close. Let's see how it fits. All right guys, so it fits around my headlight now. I was looking last night at my brackets. It looked like they would fit. But looks like they're just not long enough. So what I think I'm gonna do is put either some spacers back behind here or build a bracket that'll go from here out with bolt holes. And then I think that'll hold me out enough. So this project isn't going to be done today but uh, I will probably take a trip to Lowe's and get me what I think I need probably just a little old piece bolt on here comes out to here 
put that a bolt on and the same over here and then that'll bolt on and I think that'll do me uh, there'll probably still have to be some fit and finagle but it's a start and who knows I may waste a bunch of time and money on it and it never worked but I really like the looks of that on there and when you're driving if you've driven a lot of motorcycles I like not being kicked in the face by 70 mile an hour winds so anyway guys bear with me and I'll either finish it in this one or finish it in another one all right guys so I have it in me to finish this windshield in this video what I did I got to looking I went ahead and turned my brackets around flipped them upside down swapped them spaces that puts them out a little further and puts the windshield up a little further giving it a little bit of space the problem is when I fit it up I'm only getting one bolt on each side uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it that way do some short runs around town won't you leave down in the comments if you think that's gonna fly off and kill me take my head off at 70 miles an hour it's a good possibility anyway that's what I'm gonna do so watch me as I fit this up and uh, y'all can shake your head and say what is he doing well, this is what I'm doing let me get over here and get a good view of this thing all right so got a bolt right here I also had to bend these in a little bit push that in a little bit uh, I don't really like the smell of what I'm stepping in with this but we're gonna see how sturdy it feels let me get this side in here have to take my handy dandy flyers and not quite going to fit so we will take we're going to do some finagling on it I'm gonna, that's all right, I'm gonna bend it in a little bit more. It's hitting my handlebar. Let's see what happens.
Eh, took that corner off a little bit, see if that helps. Close. Looks like I need to take what I left off. What I left needs to come off, basically, is what I'm saying. Let's work on that. All right, guys, I've got it on. I'm gonna tighten it and then I'm gonna do some tweaking to it. Is it right? No, it's not right. Will it work? I kind of have my doubts on that too. But I'm not taking this thing on any long trips until I get it, get all my fluids changed and all my bearings greased. I'll probably take my clutch off and give it a good cleaning since it has set so long. Uh, and plus I'm working so there's nowhere I can take it anywhere. But around town, I think I'll be good. Let's tighten this other side up. Take him. Huh? I'll take one. I'm gonna turn this a little bit just so I don't hit my paint. Y'all even see what I'm doing here? I may not even be, may not have a good view of it here. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, you can kind of see it. Yep, this will just let me know how it feels kind of cruising around town with it for now. And who knows, I may not like it. I may not want a permanent windshield and I may end up taking this off. Especially if on a short drive, it gets to acting real janky and I think it's gonna cause me, or somebody on the road with me, some heartache. I don't want any part of that. Yeah. Leave it to this screw to be the long windedest one. Whew. Guys, here in Oklahoma, it's about 150,000 degrees. I'm sweating, I'm getting heat exhausted. Make sure you all drinking plenty of water if you're out here in this heat. I need to practice what I preach. I haven't had any water yet, but I'm gonna go get me some as soon as I get this tightened. Uh, I 
again guys practice a lot better safety with power tools than you've seen me doing today oh baby than you've seen me doing today uh, i'd hate to see anybody get hurt and then say that oh the roman Oki did it y'all should know by now roman Oki ain't the sharpest tool in the tool shed but he tries all right guys Whew. guys I don't know how sturdy it seems. These things seem to like to vibrate a lot. I'm gonna take her around the block a few times and uh, I'll let you know in the next video just how she does. Until next time, guys, I'm gonna go get a cold drink of water. Hey guys, do me a favor, man. Hit like on this just so we can get my numbers up. Maybe other people start seeing me. Guys, hit subscribe if you ain't subscribed already. Hit the bell for notifications. My videos ain't the best, but they're getting that way, maybe. Who knows? Maybe I'll hit something and let y'all like. But subscribe, share it if you want to share it. Uh, anyway, guys, until next time, peace out.